החזון עבר את הפרשת השבוע. But the fact is that different parts of the Tata have different signoinim. You know how it works. Different parts of the Tata speak in different ways. The, the, the way you would say it in Lomdas is that the Tata is, 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 is Megillus Megillus. Right? It's a bunch of parshas. It's a bunch of parshas. A parsha doesn't mean bereishes nech lecha. A parsha means from a pay to a pay, you know, a, a section. The, the Rambam counts how many hundreds of parshas the Tera has. Every parsha was written separate and then it was pasted together into the Chumash. Every parsha was written time, different time, different place, different circumstance. And often different parshas have different languages, yeah? In parshas Kedoshim, you have a language, I don't think it's any place else in the Chumash. But it's said over and over again. How many times did it say in Pashas Kedoshim? Right? You should fear God, your God, Ani Hashem, I am God. How many times did it say? Five, six times? At least, yeah? Huh? Not in the whole Pashas Kedoshim. It's the first couple of Aliyahs. Today we still have it in Chitas. By tomorrow I think it already disappears. The whole Kedoshim, I think, is 67 Pesukim. It's a small Pasha. So now she says that there are Dvorim HaMesurim Lelev. Right? Like, Lefnei Veleisitein Mechshov Veyesmech Ani Hashem. Yeah? There are things that Hashem told us to do or things that Hashem told us that we shouldn't do. That if you do it wrong, no one will be able to prove it. Yeah? I'll give you, I'll give you a dugman lomdis. In other words, not a dugman musere, but a A guy is a shaykhet. He's a shaykhet. And a shaykhet has the shecht. So he has a khalif. The khalif you could check to see if it has any pegimis. You could check to see it anywhere with the khalif. What you cannot check is the shechita. When a shaykhet shech says halochas of shechit, drasa and chalada and shehiya, one of the halochas of shechit is that a shaykhet has to cut like this and not press. He's not going to push the knife against the neck, he has to cut. Another halach is the shaykhet is not allowed to stop. He's not allowed to pause. He can go slow. Halachically, a shaykhet can go back and forth many times until the animal passes away, now it dies. But you're not allowed to stop. If the animal, the sheikh had stopped, it's a treif. It's called shehiyah, upshelnzach. There's no way to know whether sheikh did shehiyah unless you're the sheikh yourself. Even if you're looking at him sheikh, you cannot tell drosa. This, you push it, can't see. It's impossible to know. Only the sheikh himself knows whether the sheikh did kosher or sheikh did not kosher. And of course, this is why, as you assuredly know, by Chassidim, it was an under the Menezach that the Shaykhet has to be a bigger year of Shemaim than the Rav. The frumest person in town was the Shaykhet, always. Always. Because the Rav, Paskin's a Shaila, you can open the Shaykhet and show him that he's wrong. A Shaykhet, Shaykhet, what are you going to do? You're going to take the neck? The neck doesn't show Simonim of Drasa or Shehia or whatever the other Trefis that they write. There's no way to know. You're trusting a person's credibility. So the Tater says, Only God knows. And you know. You help, gave a person advice. Someone came to you and And you gave him advice. And you're thinking, you're going to mess this guy up as a Gvaldic. And later you're going to belt the profit from it. He's going to get into a whole mess. And then you're going to bail him out. And you're going to make tons of guilt. And you say, a fool. Who's going to know? What do you mean? I meant it with an emiss. I thought the business deal would go good. I didn't know it was going to go sour. So this is what the, in Parshas Kedoshim, you have come up on him, this mishpat. I don't think it's anybody else in the Chumash. It's, it's Parshas specific. And you should know there are other places in the Chumash. I mean, last week was the Zerim Mitzayi. Shkarura is yerak rakka is adam da mois. Ich weiß was. 
Gabachas and Karachas, you have words in these two Pashas that appear no ways as in Tanakh. And in these two Pashas, they appear in different places and mean different things. It's the language of the Pasha. When you, that Karachas and Gabachas and uh, sh, 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 <laughs> there's expressions in the Pasha that are used by by uh, Dartin Nigi uh, Erbasa, uh, and then they're used by Nigi Bugadim, mean totally different things, and the words are the same because they're, they're, these words are specific to this Pasha. So in Pasha's Kedoshim, it's the same thing. You have certain expressions that appear, as, as far as I know, only in Pasha's Kedoshim. You no, know, the famous story with Rabbi Goldstein, Yossel Goldstein, all of our in his records. I was a kid, I listened to Rabbi Goldstein. So he has the record that he's watching. What's the story that he's watching? The story that he's watching is that there's a, a Yid um, who's traveling on a wagon. And he sees Arov is walking. Arov, a rabbi. So he says to the Rav, listen, I'm going to the town. Why should you walk? Sit in the wagon, we'll go together. I'll save you some steps, a little energy. So the Rav thanks him and he climbs into the wagon and they're going. As they get closer to the town, they pass by a, f- a f- an orchard, a, a, f- a field of apple trees. And the, the f- there's a fence around it, and the apples are in season, they have to be picked. And the balago stops, and he turns around to the rabbi and says, look how many apples, there's, there's tens of thousands of apples. W- what if I take a few? How much is it going to hurt the bala pardis? He's not even going to know what's missing. And as he's talking, you know how people are, he convinces himself that it's not Dave. There's so many apples. He's not going to take a, a thousand apples. He'll take two or three apples. Well, what's the big deal? So many apples. So after he talks himself into the fact that it's not Geneva, he says to the rabbi, do me a favor. I'm going to go get some apples. If you want, I, I can bring some for you also. If you don't want, I'm not going to bring for you. I, I don't want to get involved in your ethics. But do me, if you see anybody watching, call me. So the guy gets out of the wagon, he's climbing over the fence, he's going to get apples. He's halfway up the tree, and the rabbi suddenly calls, he's watching. So he jumps out of the tree, climbs over the fence, gets into the wagon, and he whips the horses, and they lay from him, and they lay from him, and they lay from him, and he looks behind him, no one's chasing him. After going for several miles, he slows the horses down, and he turns around to this rabbi and says, Who's watching? Who's watching? <laughs> So he says, the owner, the owner was watching. He says, I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody watching me. He says, the Yebish, the Balmos from the Welt is watching. He says, I, you idiot. <laughs> I didn't take apples because the Yebish is watching. The Yebish is not going to mix in. The Yebish is not going to do anything. He says, he's watching. Let's be nice about the Yiddishkeit was keine Wesenschaft. And by Chesidim, this was the you know this was the criteria. And there's an alta vort, and you know this is it's hard for me to talk about this because it's one of my nesioinus that the Mendel of Haradaker said the Mendel Alter Rebbe said Rebbe the Mendel of Haradaker said the only emes that we have is Krishna Shalomita. I used to years ago every year the first fabrengen of the year in Elul was a achlata to do Krishna Shalomita with a hat and jacket from a siddur. What's the next words? Standing in one place. Standing in one place. <laughs> Not pacing. With a hat and a jacket from a siddur. And God knows that I don't do it every night like that. I'm, I'm the first to have the and the lemmas. The Mendel HaRadokah said the only image you have the Kishma Shalomit to the base of us. Nobody knows. Your Shachres people know. Your Mincha people know. Today we had Q&A. We had Charles Chuvis with Achit Mimim. So one of the questions that I would ask was, what do I think of people who joined Porch Minyanim when the Rabbana brought a letter you shouldn't join Porch Minyanim. So I said, it's, <laughs> it's very hard for me to answer that question because I myself am a member of a Porch Minyan. So they wanted to shut down the whole internet and send electronic demons in my house. Whatever. I mean, I, I belong to... I, I, people see me davening shachas. Today I didn't daven with the Minyan. I couldn't. But we have a Minyan. Kish Meshav Amit is at Kenyanisht. And this is this is where this is where you know this is where our emes is. It's hard. It's tough. It's, it's an assignment. The the the, the Rebbe Rashab said about this on Neich. He has a big chosid, a big big chosid. His name is the Bishol Blinitsky. So Neich Blinitsky, the Zaid of all the Yisrael Neichs. 
Shalnech Belenitsky, Shalnech Belenitsky was a Tomim in Lubavitch. And when he had to get engaged, the Rebbe Rashab was his Shatchem. When he had to get engaged, the Mechutin, that means the, his, the, the Zalnech's wife's Kala's father came to the Rebbe Rashab. He says to the Rebbe Rashab, you sent me a bocha for a shidduch, please tell me what he is. So the Rebbe Rashab said to him, as er zitzt alein bazich in simir, hot er oichet meire far Which means when he sits alone in a room and there's nobody around, he's also afraid of God. That's very simple kachari Hashem. And it's one of the, like I said, it's, it's distinct to Pasha's Kedosh. I'm a Kenzogan. You know, now, now we're going to make up Shetlach. You know, now we make up Atkan, Dvarim Amitim, Mikan Ve'elach, Divrei, whatever it is, Budos, whatever you want to call it. A Pshetl. The Parsha in the Chumash which speaks about the Ereisim, Melechach, Ani Hashem, is Kedoshim to you. Kedoshim to you, right? Kedoshim to you means be holy. It's a mitzvah. Be holy. Ask me a question. Frag Kasha. The Kasha is, I'm not holy. That's the Kasha. The Abish that gives you a mitzvah, Kedoshim to you, it's not realistic. To be holy? Kedoshim to you? I'm Kama Nerach Ayid. There's a mitzvah. It says that Kedoshim to you. And it says why? Ki Kodesh Ani. Kedoshim to you. You should be holy. Kodesh Ani because I'm holy. Vesak Mastam Avesh Adavot. Yes. Kedoshim to you. Ki Kodesh Ani. Yachol Kamoini. Tamad Leimer. Ki Kodesh Ani. Kedosh Ani. Lamaam of the Shasim. And the prayer should say Yachol Kamoini. Bini Chutz. There's a whole pilpul about this. Yeah? The Abish they gave us a mitzvah to be holy. And there's a Porsche to cash it. I'm not. What's the tenets? Huh? Nobody knows? The answer is Iskafia. The answer is Iskafia. In Peirik of Zion, in chapter 27 of the Tanya, the Alter Rebbe speaks about Vizkadishtim Vizim Kadesh. You know we tie this him? Act holy and you'll become holy. But act holy till you become holy does not mean fake it till you make it. It's not what it means. Fake it till you make it means you're bluffing. Act holy means things in this world that I desire. If I was holy, I would have no interest in them. I'm going to say that one more time for effect, yeah? Things in this world that I desire. If I was holy, I would have no desire for them. I'm not holy. I'm not going to have them. So the reason it's not fake until you make it, because there's nothing fake about a scafia. There's nothing fake about self-control. There's nothing fake about not allowing yourself a taiva because, because Kedeshim to you. There's a connection. Parshas Kedeshim speaks about Kedeshim to you. Vos men Kedeshim to you is kafia. Kedeshim to you means, the old Hasidic expression, vos men tarnish, tarmanish, and vos men megdafanish. What I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed. And what I'm permitted, I don't need. That's Kedeshim to you. And that's the keli for the Yereisim of the Kachani Avai. The idea that a person has, what they used to call in the olden days, Yiddish Shamayim, or they used to call in the olden days, an Er Lecherid. You know, there's a guy I know who always tells me, in the olden days, he said, an Er Lecherid, everybody knew what Er Lecherid is. Now you have to call him a Gon, and a Tzaddik, and a, and a Frumak, and it has 55 words, and it doesn't add up to an Er Lecherid. An El Lechayid means a Yid is where he's supposed to be. The Yisada being an El Lechayid is the Ereisim al Kachani Adishem. That means to say, you know, our relationship with the Eivishter is not necessarily what everybody sees. And when it has an Emes, Bechad Echadorim, you know, the Vesta Kot Loshan, Dvarim HaMesurim Lelev, only the Eivishter knows. And when in Dvarim HaMesurim Lelev there's an Inyaf Ereisim al Kacha, this is a Yid. This can't be without Kedoshim to you. And again, Kedoshim Tihu means it would be nice if we were all holy. But Kedoshim Tihu means it's kafia. Right? V'his Kedishtem, this is next week's parasha, which I made. V'his Kedishtem, V'yisem Kedoshim. I'll tell you about Taichis. Act holy and you'll be holy. V'his Kedishtem. Do a kafia and then V'yisem Kedoshim. Seifa, Eli, Eskodesh, or Muvdul, Be'emes, Mesit, Rachem. 
He says, the, this is one of the messages of Parashat Kodesh. That to be a Yid, you have to give something. You know, when you be a Yid, you have to give a price, you have to give epis. In America, we can't afford to give too much because we, uh, <laughs> we need a lot. But epis came and gave them. You know, in the times of the Alter Rebbe, when Chesidim used to fabreng, they had a standard question. The question that they would ask is, Vosas to give for Chesidus? Vosas to for There's a famous Chesidish of art that the Shmuel Munkis, you all heard of Shmuel Munkis, yeah? When you say Shmuel Munkis, you're supposed to smile. So uh, Shmuel Munkis was sitting at a Fabrengen with Rabbi Isaac Homler. Now, I don't know who was the greater Chosset. Shmuel Munkis was not a Pashat a man. So Shmuel Munkis says to Isaac Homler, Eidel, as ich will nit given ke Chosset vot to given a Ganef. If I wasn't a chassid, I'd be a thief. What did you give? What did you give to be a chassid? So Rabbi Isaac Homler said, "As if Chodesh given a chassid, for to given a shach and taz." Imagine. So if I wasn't a chassid, I'd write a sefer the shach and taz. That's how big a gun he was, and he was never a chassid. Malchem is a chassid. The the Indian of giving it doesn't have to be. We talked about this many times. It doesn't have to be a lot. It just has to be kedushim to you. You know, in America, people have to have this, 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 this. This I'm going to do without. Just this one thing. And that's the keli for the v'yereis ha The idea that this dvarim ha-mesurim aleif, when it comes to Yiddishkeit, there are things that nobody, not only nobody knows, nobody could know. It's between you and your God. I gave you for the dogma of shechite. Because shechite, if the shechit doesn't have era, the whole town is eating treif. You know, it's not just a pshat. You know, the halacha is a dach and then be suited. Right? When it comes to Issa, the tale, trust everybody, right? You guys learn to your mother, yeah? Judaism is divided into four categories. There's Dava Sheba Momin, there's Dava Sheba Erva, there's Oinshim, and there's Dava Sheba Issa. For Dava Sheba Momin, you have to have two Adam. For Dava Sheba Erva, you have to have two Adam. And based on the halacha says that Milo also be yuchsin, you have to have two rives. One rive is not enough. For a dava shebe oinshim, chas v'shom, a person doesn't get punished. He says two eid. Dava shebe iser, eid echad amitun. A person comes through with a piece of meat and says, I know it's kosher. You believe him? He doesn't have to bring witnesses, doesn't have to bring a plumber, a day is the din. Eid echad nam abisud. But there's two possibilities in eid echad amitun. One possibility that can be certain is I'm trusted, I'm a one wit that's trusted to be careful about his surim. Listen again to me. That if I do this wrong, I may be an Aveda. There's another kind of that can be certain that because of my aid, is somebody else is vulnerable. And still we say, Aid can be certain. That's all about it. He's shechting for somebody else. Aid can be certain. Are you trustworthy? Why? Because there's a chazokin. That when it comes to it comes to money, when it comes to certain other things, we don't trust nobody. When it comes to being religious, well, from without my mark, I'm not there from. First taste, v'yesh malakach. And this is a this is a challenge. This chumash rashi is a challenge to me. V'yesh malakach ani Hashem only the Eibush that knows, and I have to be an el lechayid. It's it's special, it's real, it's honest, it's it's really what a Jew is, you know. When there's nobody watching, and you behave as ah. Why does it need to say it so many times though? Oh, (laughs) has to say it enough times that you should remember it till next Pasha's Kadesh. I I um I I I'm older than you. Do you remember the Rebbe Shmuley? Yeah. yeah. I, w- I got married in Tavshin Nun. Yeah? I'm a little bit older than you. So, the Rebbe had a habit of repeating himself. The Rebbe used to take on these expressions and then he would repeat it and then he would repeat it and repeat it a bit, and then he would change to a different expression and same thing over and over again. Yeah? La Marshall. When the Rebbe and Chaya Mushka passed away, the Rebbe's expression became, V'achai yitin alibi. 
How many times did Rebbe say Vachayit Nalibe? The Rebbe said Vachayit Nalibe so many times. You meet any Lubavitch and say Rebbe Sachayamushke. Here, his immediate response Vachayit Nalibe. It's like programmed, you know. So the Rebbe used to say expressions over and over again because he wasn't teaching; he was burning elokus into us. One of the Rebbe's expressions, but he repeated so many times, you can hear it. You sleep. Was boire oila mumanhige. He said it and he said it and he said it and he said it because he was burning it into us. Boire oila mumanhigoi. David should not only is the creator of the world, he's the balabas over the world. And he said it and he said it and he said it. You never forget it. The tailor that's like, so many times. The pastors, Rashi says, that any time there's a mitzvah, that nobody knows about it, except for the Ebishter. It says again, the, the real kasha is not why it's repeated so many times. The real kasha is why it's only in Pashat's Kadeshim. The other Pashat is in the Chumash, where you have uh, mitzvahs that are Masudim Lelev. Nobody knows. Except you and God. But Pashat's Kadeshim is language specific in this Prat. Pashat's Kadeshim has a unique form. Any time the Tater speaks about an Aveda, that it's possible that nobody should know whether you're doing the Aved or not. And it's one of the lessons, it really is, it's one of the lessons of Pashat's Kedeshim. Pashat's Kedeshim teaches, you want to be from? Give something. And a from means you want to be from something which is called, it's permitted, you're allowed. It's America. In America you have to have every indulgence, otherwise it's a shayla on your Americanism. Give a little bit. The little bit that you give, that's the, the Kedoshim to you, is the Kaili for the Yitzhak Malikah. The little, a little Iskafia, a little Iskafia, in one thing, a little Iskafia, a little Iskafia. I have to, I'll, I'll make a confession. <laughs> We're sitting in the house, my wife and I, and our six children, Zongazunzain, the singles, what now, for two months, yeah, come out, from Purim, <laughs> a month and a half. Yeah, I mean, Across the street is my mother-in-law. We wouldn't go near my mother-in-law. She was all alone. And then she got Nebuch sick. Very sick. So now, not only we had to go, we had to take care of her. But otherwise, we're stuck in the house. We're stuck in the house. So, so, we're, we're talking more than normal. We're talking more than normal. And this past Shabbos, at the table... This doesn't happen a lot in our house, and I'm very ashamed of it, but I'm admitting it here. We started talking about people. Not necessarily, let's not, I always tell you, Vistach, smart people discuss ideas, average people discuss things, low people discuss people. We're sitting in the house, six weeks, and we always see each other. We're sitting at the end, and at, at a certain point, one of my children said, no, you have to take a shower, push it. We didn't make a mention. It's a nidrikait. Even if, it, you know, this week's past, you have, like, say, the chrochel. Hain te kechita, so say, the chrochel ba mech. Vesach, achel, be kurza, be malka. Rashi, the long Rashi. What does Lashon Har have to do with walking around? Because you're a peddler of information. You go from Reuven to Shimon to Levi. You pick up something over here, you pass it over there. And, Bemis, we're not, we're pretty careful. Not, I mean, we're not careful about Lashon Har. We're pretty, like I mentioned, it's disgusting to sit and talk about people. It's low. And then when you find yourself sitting at your table and talking about people and you're disgusted with yourself, Feh! What's going on? This is, you know, in the, in the culture of quarantine, this is the V'yerei Sebel Kachani Hashem. You know, my wife and I said, with this Shabbos, it has to be different. We're talking sitting at the Shabbos table and we're enjoying each other's company and not every single word that has to be said has to be Dafka Divrei Teire. We can speak Divrei, I don't want to call them Divrei Choyl because it's Shabbos. But it's not divrei kedush, but there needs to be of yerusim lekach, and it's not just that; it's the kedushim to you. The kedushim to you means that we gain so much from holding ourselves back. Kedushim to you means act holy. I'm not holy. That I the holy is. I want to do this. I want to say this, but I'm not. Not the pshat. I'm not, and I don't care. I'm not, and I do care. I absolutely want to have this conversation and do this in you. It's called the Skafia, Begenzach. In one area, the Kaili for the Vyerese, Melekecha, Niavaya, Dvarim, Amesurim, Lelev, Nor, the Rebish Teves, is Kadeshim to you. I think, I really think 
It's a lesson of Ashish Kadeshim. I mean, Yohan or Teda works. The Rebbe says, Teda Mlash Nara, every word in Teda you can learn from thee. There's no such thing as running out of Herois. There's no such thing as running a Divri Teda. Every Pasha is bleak vul. But I think one of the real Herois in the first half of Pasha is Kadeshim, because it says it again and again and again. It's the only Pasha Chobesh that has it. Now, when I was sitting before thinking, what am I going to talk about? When I, I have I have my prepared speeches. <laughs> so, when it comes to Pashas Kadeshim, my instinctive drosha is Parshazu Nema Bahakil. What's the first Rashi in Pashas Kadeshim? Parshazu Nema Bahakil. This Pasha was said by Hakil. Remember that Rashi, yeah? Vos main pasha zu nema bahakil. Rashi says, the raya is that it has so many mitzvahs. What's the gather of hakil? Pasha zu nema bahakil. Do you know, anybody know? I thought I brainwashed you good. Some of you are my Talmidim for a few years. These are old. What's main pasha zu bahakil? What's hakil? Anybody? I'm warning you, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> hakil is anoshim noshim vitaf. Hakel is this this defense the Gemara says Zeh Seder Mikra Zeh Seder Mishnah the Gemara says Rashi brings in Pashas Kisisa at the end Meishir Abed taught Aaron then he taught the Venaviu and then he taught the Shivim Skenim and then he taught the Yidden Harebi Adar Abab and Adar Yishleishim and the Kedem Shnayim Hakel is no discrimination everybody is the same so Matan Teira is called Beyem Akol in Pashas Vashanan Aserah Sadibris is called In the Chumish Beyem Akol was Hakel all the Jews were there. Anoshim, Rashi says about Pasha's Kedoshim, this week's Pasha, Pasha Zu Nema Bahakil. And his Raya is because there's many mitzvahs. There are other Pashas in there that have more mitzvahs. Kiseitse and Shaftim, but have more mitzvahs. Rashi doesn't say Yakil. Punkt Vos Rashi meant, Pasha Zu Nema Bahakil. I don't know exactly what he means, but that's what Rashi says, Pasha Zu Bahakil. The Vart of Hakil is, this is Dova Rashova, the whole Nefesh. Every Jew needs to notice. Even a child. Two things, Kedoshim to you. And we are the Melkacha Kani Avai. That not everything you want you should have. Not because you can't afford it. Not because it's not good for you. But because you want it. And that's the Kaili for the Erez Melkacha Kani Avai. Anyway, it, it would be nice if I would practice what I just preached. Then I would be a Shtikli Yid. Then I would be Erez Melkacha Kani Avai. And I'm hoping I'm going to guilt myself at least for a few hours. Into this senior Yisma Kachani Hashem. Okay, we're going to call it a night. Kindalach, lechaim v'levracha. Thank you for sticking around, and uh, we should meet for Seifas Machas. I'll see you on Sunday morning. Yeah, we'll see you Sunday morning. Yeah.